Webster, Merriam Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, mm -hmm. definition of religion includes yeah. the service and worship of God or the supernatural, commitment or devotion to religious faith or observance, a personal set or institutionalized system of religious beliefs and practices, and a cause, principle or system of belief beliefs held with held to with ardour and faith. Under this definition, are you, well, are you setting up a new religion that does these things? Aren't I? Is that the question? Are you? Or aren't you? <laughs> Whatever you like. <laughs> well, definitely lie. We, we, we don't have a set of religious practices. We don't have a set of religious observances. Mm -hmm. We don't have a service. We don't have a constrained view, uh, like a, a combination of laws that a person has to follow. We don't have uh, a set of belief systems that if you don't follow, you, you get excommunicated from. We don't have any of these things, in fact. We don't have a priesthood, a, a ministry, a, or any other or any other of the things that normally are defined in a religion. As I've said in other questions, we don't have a religion. We are not creating a religion. We are not creating anything to do with religious belief systems. All of these things that the dictionary describes are all about what men have defined as their relationship with God. As I've said in the answer to other questions, it is impossible for us to have a relationship with God on our own terms. Mankind, in its own arrogance, believes that it is possible to have a relationship with God on the terms that mankind believes should be the relationship. And this is impossible. What we need to do is we need to come to accept that God knows the terms under which God will have a relationship with us. And all we need to do is make the choice of whether we're going to accept those terms or reject them. Hmm. That's the choice that we have. So I am not setting up a new religious movement because I do not wish to be involved with any of the things that a normal religion is involved with. And um, all I wish to do is share what I believe is the divine truth, God's truth, not my own, to anybody who's willing to listen and make a choice and give them the option of making the choice to, to either decide to, work, to, to have this relationship with God on God's terms or to not do that. But my suggestion to people is to actually investigate what the terms are first and to see whether they make any sense and also to investigate, you know, the, the beautiful benefits that particular relationship might bring before they just throw away the opportunity of having a relationship with God on God's terms. Also, I might like to point out that God's terms are pretty good and, uh, and make a lot of sense and are very logical, as you would expect from God, who created a universe that's also very logical and beautiful. So, so whenever we presume that God's terms are... Uh, uh, unable to be engaged, uh, you know, that whenever we presume that God's terms would be really bad, for example, we are making a lot of presumptions about God that are, that are very false and probably based upon our own unhealed emotions about our own childhood and other events and religion and other belief systems that we've had in the past. My suggestion to people is to just discard those things for a while and, and approach this relationship with God with a new with, with new concepts. Even with a blank slate is better than having a whole head of pre, heap of preconceived notions. If we approach this relationship with God with a blank slate, there's a great uh, opportunity for us to receive from God God's definition of what the relationship would be, rather than going into the relationship trying to force upon God what we believe the relationship should be. Um, one thing I need to add to this is that the presentation of divine truth is also a lot about ethical and moral behavior. It's about what is the ethical behavior and moral behavior between people. And, and this is something that can be, uh, can be absorbed independent of God. We can engage in ethical and moral behavior with each person that we interact with without even having God in our lives if that's what we choose to. So my suggestion to a person as well is to not discard the divine truth just because it's about a relationship with God because it's not just about a relationship with God. It's about a relationship with yourself, a relationship with the other half of yourself, your soulmate, or your partner, your relationship. It's about a relationship with children. It's about a relationship with everything that you could imagine, in fact. And of course, that would make sense because 
God being God created everything. So therefore, God being God, the divine truth would be associated or involved with everything that you could imagine, involved with scientific discovery, involved with humanity discoveries, and all the other kinds of discoveries that we could ever engage on the planet and in the spirit world. So my suggestion to a person is to, to not have a closed viewpoint that discussion about God is just about religion because it's definitely not just about religion. In fact, if we believe it's just about religion, we already have a flawed concept of God. 